Higgsfield AI just launched a new feature and it's called Popcorn. This is a new storyboarding feature that allows you to easily edit images and have complete control over the outcome. Now the rumor is that this is more consistent than Nano Banana and Sea Dream. So in this video, we'll be taking a deep dive at Hicksfield Popcorn. I've used this image as a reference right here. And just using that image alone, I managed to create these seven different scenes that I turned into a video. Hey, how's it going? With Popcorn, you can edit backgrounds, outfits, and a product seamlessly. For example, you can use this with your own product ads. You can make them in different situations, different settings, and different poses. And you can also use this for pose references. For example, I got this image right here, and now I can make these two people hold that exact pose just by adding in my images and my prompts. I will leave a link to Hicksfield in the description down below. And once you're on Hicksfield, you wanna go over to Popcorn. Over here, you have the option to choose between auto and manual. Now I will explain the difference, but for now we will be using auto. So you can upload up to four different images as your reference, and then you can make this or turn this into to like your own story. So to start, I'm keeping it super simple. I have this image right here of a man in a suit with a pumpkin hat. Now we're just gonna drop this in here and then we can describe the mood or action of our scene. Now for my prompt, I'm keeping it super simple. I'm just saying he's going door to door in the neighborhood to collect different treats as it is like Halloween. And now you can select up to like seven different outputs and it will make like seven different generations. Now that gave me these seven different results. So we got him here while Walking in a neighborhood, here is another neighborhood, here is in the snow, and here is just coming back from a shop that he just collected some treats from. You see his bucket is full, he has done well. And here he is in another neighborhood. So that's the simple way of how this works. We have seven totally different generations, it comes up with the own prompt for that, and it has done everything on autopilot for us. Now what we can do is we can even animate it from here, we can edit it, we can upscale it, or we can just download it. Now if we use this again in popcorn, then it's using it right now as a reference and now we can continue to ideate in this same storyboard workflow you can also click on animate right here and now it will bring you over to the image to video generator here you can select the model that you want to use so for example let's use google vo 3.1 and now we add in or prompt and then if you hit generate you get a video like this one So essentially this storyboard mode is an easier way to ideate and to change things fast and to like reiterate on that. So that is the auto mode. With auto mode, it comes up with the prompts itself. It will give you different like angles. It will like based on your like main prompt, it will do all the different things that you ask from. Now, if you want to have more control, you might want to switch over to manual. With manual, you can write what happens in each scene. The difference from like normal prompting to this is that you have this in one story so you have it all in like one place so if you have one image input for example i have this guy and i'm gonna put him in here then instead of me having to use that over and over again separately retyping a prompt i just explain my entire like scene what's happening in each and every one of these prompt boxes so for example i've typed in all the prompts i'm gonna name this guy sergeant and sergeant stands at attention in front of a military base at dawn his expression is serious and focused then the next scene i want to have him as a close up shot then the scene after that i want him to lean over a war room table then after that he is standing next to a military helicopter and so on and so on so if you then click generate it will generate all of these different images in one scene and that will get you a result like this so for example here he's standing there then next up we have a close-up shot of him buckling up his gear then we have him in the war room next up we have him with a squad that is like all in full tactical gear he's standing there like the boss next up we have him standing near the chopper and then he's sitting inside of the chopper so basically i've generated all of these scenes 
functions in one board and it gave me the full control to generate this. Especially for brands, this is super useful because you can now just use this with your product and generate different settings, different scenes, different backgrounds all in one place. So for example, I got this product right here and I've prompted it to be in New York. And I must say, not all of these images turned out great, but we got this UGC style image of the person holding the product here. Then we got it right here on a newspaper. Then here somewhere else in New York. We even got it on a car. And here we got it on a bench and on the street. Now, all of these have been generated without me having to think about it. So if that is something you want, then you can use this tool. What's great about this is that you can input up to four images. So for example, if I input like these two images right here, so I have the pumpkin man and then I have that skincare product. And then I can prompt it to say, like create a hyper-realistic image of the person in image two. So that's, I'm referring to that second image, holding the product in image one. Now in different poses and make it UGC content. Change the background to Halloween themed house. Now if I had generate, it's using both of these images as a reference and it's combining them into one and keeping perfect consistency. So with that, I got these four different examples of my Mr. Pumpkin holding that product and he's super proud about it. Another cool thing, what you can do with popcorn is replicating poses. So for example, I got this pose of these two people right here. And I, let's say I want to replicate this. What I can do is I can upload an image of my two characters. So this is character one and this is the second character. I can upload these three images into the auto box and then I can just simply prompt it. Put the man from image two, so that's this man, and the woman from image three into the setting of image one with the same poses. Super simple, no complicated prompts and you can just hit generate. You can also change up the aspect ratio to whatever you want. So for example, for this one, I'm gonna keep it three by four and now we generate this result and that gave us this one. So I've done the exact same thing right here with this pose. So we got the same characters and I just put the same exact prompt and then it gave me this result. I like the first one a little bit better, but it depends on what kind of poses you have. You might want to play around a little bit with this. Honestly, it's quite sick what you can do with this new popcorn feature. On top of that, you can also make images and videos with Higgsfield. So if you want to try it out for yourself, I will leave the link in the description down below. If you want to learn how to do more stuff with Higgsfield, then click the video that's on the screen screen right now and I will teach you how to make AI VFX using Higgsfield. Hey, how's it going? Come sit here. 